What is up, you beautiful human beings? I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Um, let's go. We are at the point now where we have to do to go through the when the market's certain, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Let's cross the bridge now. I hope everyone is well. Shadow, and I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. they came through storm black seas they raided these shores do you still hear his screams and now that your home is so far away they've taken his soul gods you cannot pray they can break you but not your promise even death won't keep you apart through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats her heart you fought for love unspoiled by your darkness within you fought for your dreams now there's no way to win in the head of this corpse lies the seat of his soul. So we must carry his vessel to bring him back home. sword still beats her heart. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. Her gaze averted from light. You ran from it but brought it nearer, led it to him, an endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to 
to surrender, abandoned in the fight seats of the gods. No, friends. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Wow. I um. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a video I came across today where it was talking about Hellblade, and in the video he was talking about uh, the story from start to finish. Now I didn't want to watch it because I didn't want to spoil it, but in the comments it was there was a lady who was saying how she lost her husband, and she decided to pick up the game and play it because it's about mental illness and stuff. But she didn't understand. She was so thankful that it helped her grieve as well. The game helped her with grief. And you can slowly see it starting to happen as well. But there's so much. This game surprises me every single time I touch it. It's beautiful, stunning, and just really thought well. Thought of well. I highly recommend if you just want to experience the game the story quickly and just get it done in a beautiful way i highly suggest just putting it on easy and just getting it just experiencing it um, we are playing on normal but yeah it's just one of those games where it's not really like it's not like elden ring sekiro or anything like that it's it's pretty good. Hopefully, I can kill this guy before the timer runs out. Cause, like it's just all about story. Oh. Unless you really want your gameplay, and go ahead, make it easy, normal, hard, whatever. But like, it's beautiful story and just atmosphere and things. It's just an experience. It's like I'm watching a movie. I'm going into it. And I'm immersed through it as well. And I feel like playing like this too. Uh, that's okay. This is oh no. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Get up, girl. The axe, the guy swings. You, you have a bit of time. Run. 
Where's the other one? He's got a shield, it's a bit dangerous. So we can like One, two, three, dodge, one, two. I just forces him in the animation. Hey. We're good, we're good. These are all pigments of our imagination. <laughs> This guy is tough. I'm actually stuck in the corner. I'll call my eyes and everything. I didn't want to see it. And then I focused and then it worked and it gave me a little bit of health. Oh! I'm over here going, why am I, uh, like, I can't see much. We'll be right back. I'm just clean my glasses. All right, let's go. Um, we're assuming there's two doors. I don't know which one to go for. Let's go for this one. And... The journey to Helheim is never a stretch. However, you come to the gold covered bridge that leads to hell. You may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will There's ask your so name. much I shouldn't have activated it. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into the fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd. And is challenged by the giantess. Yep, just waiting to see. There's X here. Oh, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's part of it. We'd have to be up somewhere. Could be all right. It's 
So X is here, but I don't know where. It is. Right. I'm assuming it's above us, but. It's weird because uh, I'm focusing too much on it. I can't come through that door. Oh, oh, I see it. There it is. There it is. We got it. Awesome. All right, I think there's something there, so let's go through here. And let's try and focus, see if we can see something. You hear that noise? It's now, eh, that voice. Awesome. Cause I like I looked around and I still couldn't find it. Like it normally shows you like the game wouldn't change mechanics like that unless it wanted to, but it didn't have any signs of doing that. Let's go upstairs, see what's there. Yes. A different angle. Oh man, they called my name. That was quick. I see it. I see it, homie. I see it. Yeah, I saw it. Alright, and we got that weird diamond shape thingy. I don't know if this is the right way to go. enough so beautiful though let's go back baby how are you guys are you guys enjoying this i hope you guys are because i know i am if you guys uh like it let me know down in the comments below and if you have something that you'd like me to play let, let me know too It'd be fun to experience new things we can go up and we can go down, so I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, oh, so we're here now, eh? Found it. Hold on, don't tell me that does not look like it, eh? Oh, there it is. Alright. Unless that takes me. <gasps> Wait, that might take me down and then that door. That was some level design, man. It's cool. Just thinking about the player instead of going all the way back. Yeah, awesome. To the bridge we are, eh? The gate is opening. 
get hella for the first time, eh? for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. I'm scared too, to be honest. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye for us. Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people fear seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the god. You're pathetic, rotten, curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's cursed. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless, weak, pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself because there's no one left to do that for you. What's wrong? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just like your soul. in a memory, a feeling, a song. Oh, 
Are you guys okay? It's rough hearing her, her scream and stuff, man. It's giving me the PTSD from my past. He said I had to go through. But yeah. It's crazy, man. Not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zimbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her work. Like this one, barren and lonely. Crazy man. It's already Nothing lives here, not even you. The voice is giving me a time, man. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. There he was. They're like under the tree. A tree. She remembers oh, yeah. the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. Oh. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to be never from without. Many try, but the sword is um, I don't know whether I go that way or if I come back and I go through up here. So, go this way and see. They say he's under the tree. I think that's where I'm going to get a new sword. Hell. Yeah. I'm assuming. from afar she mimicked him perfecting her own secret dance wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever it's a true case of illusion it's not real it's you really you want to know if it's a real life it's a dream <laughs> you believe it where are you going where is she going what is she throwing? You can't even awesome. fight. It's just a distraction. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. You can. It's not, it's hard. Everything that to do with mental illness, figuring it out, everything like that is really difficult. Can better. You can live fulfilling lives. Gotta learn it, practice it. What's your name? Sarah. 
anyone. I haven't seen you in a full week. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Dino's girlfriend. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one. Well, I I watched you, and you learned all of that from watching me. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Vivian. I'm here for the warrior tribe. So come along. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who's supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel it. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! It's exhausting. It, I, I'm exhausted. Like the mental things you go through. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister. And she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. Just grab me these because I think there's an achievement. To be honest. As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break. What a story. forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need your sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said the great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Could you? Could you shout? Could you shout? Point it. 
Never mind, I'll let her grab this one. Oh, is this the actual sword? Come on. Alright, 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 let's go to the shards. I get it, I get it. Let's go to the, uh, the, sh the shot first. Forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tearving. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Yeah, this game scares me. We oh, got I was here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Yes, Nicholas. Dilly, there he is. Finally, you found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. And the voices saying of find him, find him, Chris. You have to find him, get him back. You're just there. How could you lose him? How could you lose him? Right. Find him. It's like a it's like a movie. The one in the movie thinking, oh what's gonna happen next? How could this happen? I can't believe it. Still a little place to to go, so I don't really see a place to go, and that's okay. Make our way back, I guess. But yes, we are going back. Oh no, I don't go. We go right here. Way, and that's about it. That's all I know. Was that Mira? Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that music? It was not Dilly. Dilly. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Uh, I don't know. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. Yeah. Herva disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, 
Her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I have passed through were real enough. Damn them. Okay, I think hell. around. I don't. The voices are confusing me. Uh, I don't know where to go. Listening to that squeal of a man. I heard, I heard someone call my name. But like Rex. You're gonna go right. It's time. like a pig within the burial mark herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword she says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons her father answers with words of warning you go to your doom baleful runes <laughs> surround you you have Empire. gone mad you have lost your mind your thoughts are confused it is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> Funny. <gasps> I'm lost and I have no idea where to go. I know the voices are telling me that something is different. I don't know. It sounds like pigs. I was coming from my left. Are you guys scared? Because I know I am. I did. It's torch. It's lit. I lit it. I don't know. Let me, can you, I don't know I can't hear back here okay let's try this um, I, I've been here for a very long time that's why I've cut it I'm sorry hopefully this will take us to the right area hopefully No comment though. So the stuff from here. Go to here. Weird. Uh, 
mean, this place is this place is turning on me, ain't it? Yeah, because that's the same thing. Not. Oh, yeah, we found it. Actually, this is the where we need to go. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I knew exactly how to get there. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, go to the beaming red light, Rex. It's always the best way to do it. Did you have to put the torch down? See the darkness in your eyes, child. I meant a boy. Boy. She thinks so. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Then what? No. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! That's crazy. I'm so happy we made it through. If I went around in circles. There's more. I know. You're tired, but you have to keep going. That's an understatement. It gets exhausting going for mental stuff, man. Yeah, I have no real choice. I have to do all three of them. I don't know what you, oh, there it is. Uh, let's go through this one, and we'll do the middle one. That way, it's closer to. Me. Going back to the thing. All right, let's go. a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this 
this place. Um, on that cutscene, like standing up to someone who is abusive, manipulative, uh, and controlling is really difficult. And that's something that like her father seems to have had. So her sticking up is so brave. You know, and then having your own mental struggles and your own guilt and your own views just does it gets like the old warrior trials. Don't have no help. So yeah, it gets hard. I'm not bored. I'm just really tired. Do you smell it? Sorry. was wrong with something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, what? as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. Winnie knew that she was not like that. The bridge. It's broken. Fix it. You have to fix it. I, I know, I know, I am trying my hardest. The tower. How do you get to the tower? I don't know, I don't know. The voices are cool because they kind of help you, but at the same time, it's like it can be overwhelming. It can be super overwhelming. Moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hand, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. And if you see the death moon, then beware. There was a frog sound. I don't know if y'all heard it. Pretty cool. Um, I fixed the bridge, didn't I? Oh my god, did I lose it? Trying to. I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? How loud can you talk? Find him. You have to find him. Demian! They're coming for me! Or panic in the air. I don't know what's the right place to go. Relax, 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 relax. It's 
I've moved. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Everywhere I. One. Don't scream! Don't scream! Don't scream! Don't scream! Don't scream! I hope that activated. I hope that activated. I'm so scared. We're okay. Oh my god. So scared. I think that's all three of them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oof! That was beyond scary. Ugh. I hope you all are right. Shano. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are, like I am. You're not a monster. You can tell I've died a lot because look at my hand. Oh, that's bad. I don't want to lose my progress. Died so. This is what it is, man. If I have to reset, I gotta reset. Hopefully I don't. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Bucks. All right. That's crazy.
You want to see what the mask sees? No, she doesn't. Well, what is this? It's the same. It's another world. It's lighter. I like it here. Can we stay? Let's stay here. It's safe here. There's a difference between each mask. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? Oh, must have fixed the bridge. The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. That door's locked. <laughs> the Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, to swear I mean, it's kind of like to not to harm her son. Neither weapons nor wood will heal him. Only Loki, father of Hela, the prince of death is. We here go around and a door will be open. I'm starting to get the puzzles done, understand a bit better. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Shh, 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 The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. Senor explored new paths into the unknown. All right, everyone, we gotta find the gods. A feast, cage. And rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, "Is it really true?" That all things promise to keep him safe. I did right. not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's That's mother confesses. Cool. I thought it was cool. too young. Got it. Oh dear. Awesome. Glad that we were get it done. Find it. Back now. Really hope this is it, because I'm scared, man. I don't want my hand going any further. Blind god, Hood, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Hood says, 
I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Hurth throws the mistletoe mm. at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hurth is slain. Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. It's better I didn't. Torture anyone. Hmm. Oh, I see it. There it is. You kill the things you love with your curse. You kill the things that are most precious to you. Do you know who deserve this? You have no choice. Oh, Dillian, come on, but. that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned I'm just opening. I don't know what this is. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zimbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities. Now we got M. I can't wait to see what the rest of the story says, man. I'm trying to just ignore the rest of the bosses. <laughs> that fire pot was hard, alright? That took three, four tries. <laughs> <laughs> and I still didn't know how to get to it. Side. Going down here. Yep, the arrow is here, so something here. Is it your wall? Do you feel safe? Dillian loves you. Do I feel safe? Yeah, I feel he safe. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. Um, I've been wrong before. You remember meeting him beneath the tree? Do you remember the way he looked? Who did then? What does it feel like to be in love? I don't know. You tell me down in the comments. What does it feel like to be in love? I have no idea. Do There we go. She's back 
up. We gotta go to that area, but we gotta go. Okay, I got it. I get 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 it. How do we get up there? We just go around. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's cute. You remember the way he said. Focus. The Northmen yeah. tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess. She comes right. riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, yes, okay. I then gotta go all the way around and then grab the bridge. And then grab the head again and then go back. Cool. You have no chance, Bella. No. Nobody will love you again. Ever. Ever again. Awesome, and if I did this, walk past here. Do you remember what love looks like? I do. I have been in love once in my life. I don't mean much to anyone. This is pointless. What are you doing? Um, You see runes everywhere. But yeah, it was. Oh! Cool. Actually, it was not too bad. Oh, we were really young, though, so. A lot of people might say it might not count, but. Feelings of feelings. I miss the feelings of the feelings. That is a Whit Lowry song. Yeah, it's one of his verses. Alright! Getting closer now. Run, run. Him with your love because he believed in you. Adelian! Yes, he took uh. after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Like I'm falling. Oh, he's coming up in arms. Yay, Dylan. I mean, oh, no.
Shinoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. That's a you give up question. the beautiful world. You, if only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. you from my darkness because I love you but it made it worse I'm so sorry killing you would be too easy they're taking your memories to talk all right let's go back to the sword Oh my god, I don't know how to kill you or stop you from depression. I hope these voices stop eventually. Oh at least get more positive. That'll be nice. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. It's a fall, man. It's a fall on you. Dylan will live on through my memories. Remember how I said earlier that we're going through the middle because it's going to be easier when we come back to get to the sword? <laughs> uh, whoops. Ended up going around, eh? Do I need to go there? Find out. Yeah, I still think I need to go to the blue area. What I will do is that take a screenshot. Daddy. By the way, this was like before uh, Bob Marley time again, eh? Baby, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. I don't have no idea, man. All right. I think we did three. I think it was only three in the three shots. Their all father, Odin, give his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. Pardon me. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Got cold, eh? I can't see. Who's there? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you 
your feet. The plan is. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. So we're pausing here. He said, breathe slow, stay still, right? Um, there is something I want to talk about. Maybe hopefully at the end of the level, what if I remember. The voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. Okay. Listen to your own breath. Senses guide you. I can't go on. Will you? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. So, what Dylan's saying is pretty much um, helping her get back to reality reality and I would like yeah I would like to talk about it later trying to make a mental block I think I'm somewhere else now but the breeze has gone use all of your senses let the world spark Awesome. So sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Senua. My father. He taught me that the hardest battle is to go through in life. Not the sword. Seems there's no escaping the past in this place. It's a beautiful stream of it. What in? Just keep going. This house goes on fire, I'm gonna be upset. I'm scared everybody, that's disgusting. Let's just pretend not to look. It's don't look at it. Doesn't exist, right?
Okay, we're okay. I'm stressed. I'm scared. It's going to jump at me, isn't it? I've played inside the back rooms. Okay. Can't die. I'll die. I completely lose my progress. I don't want to do that. The noises behind you. Oh, I am so scared, guys, not gonna lie. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 we're okay. Ooh. Ooh. is testament you are in control i just want this to be over with <laughs> okay we're okay we're okay. Okay. A well. There's a well. Don't turn back. We're getting close. A lot of noise. Don't make it. You popped up and freaked me out. Oh my god. I'm scared too, girl. You're freaking me out. When you freak out, I'm freak out. I gotta be calm. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's like that in games. You want to breathe. Stick around at the end. I do have some things to say. Some thoughts on this. Hopefully, I remember. Oh, that was four shots. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself in the dark. Yep. You see me? Your eyes were open, but you were gone. You would finally let her go. She could be anywhere, with no memory of how she got there. I am Comstock. I have no power over you. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A 
めてます Wow. With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillion was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. So maybe now is a good time to talk about it since we're kind of walking towards this place. So, um, in the situation, she's really like in that in the beginning, she was she, uh, Dylan was telling her to like calm down pretty much and to breathe slowly and then tune into your senses and see what's going on around you. That's a good way for people with anxiety as well. In effect, pardon me, with anxiety and the things they go through, you know, heart palpitations are going crazy, they're feeling that like they can't breathe. And they're feeling like they're gonna die eventually that moment does end up passing but for someone in that state to be aware that it's happening to them especially if they're used to it to then be like okay i'm okay i will get past this what can i do and then they find them they do things to ground themselves like dylan was talking about, about looking thinking feeling and using her senses so sometimes with anxiety we do like the five four three two one technique where it's like five things you can see four things you can smell or four things you can touch uh, three things you can smell, two things you can feel, uh, one thing, I don't know. So, you know, if sometimes you just gotta, like, I feel the, I feel the pressure in my feet when I'm, when I have my feet planted on the ground, I feel, you know, I can feel my, my biceps, I can feel my hands, feel my face, stuff like that to help you get out of that state of mind. So there's a lot of techniques here that are behind the scenes, things that we will do. You know, and it's times like that where you just need to get yourself in that in that um, practice because if you don't practice, you're not going to go anywhere. And that's the other thing I want to talk about is if someone came to me and they were having like a panic attack, for example, I'm not going to say to them, just breathe. I'm going to actually sit them down. We're going to sit them down so they're safe. If they fall or faint or whatever, they're at least on the ground. And then go through those things I was telling you about. But the way it works is like, think about your brain. So your brain's like this, right? And then you want a pathway. You want to make pathways in your brain. To create these pathways, you got to practice and you got to do things. So if I practice breathing techniques, when the time comes that I need them, they will work. But if I just like, I'm in a panic state and I just like, oh, just breathe, for example, that's not going to work because the pathways aren't created in your brain. And to create pathways, you just got to practice. So make sure you guys know that to do the work, if you have mental illnesses or you're struggling with something, you got to put in the work to become better, to learn better. And eventually it does become easy and you'll be like, ah, I can just deal with it. You know, mental illnesses doesn't go away. There's no magic pill that makes it go away. You can't even take medication to make it go away. But what you can do is learn how to have a fulfilling life with it. So, for example, I go through a lot of depression, right? Depression, anxiety, and I have ADHD. Not that big. Everyone has a lot of... I, I am blessed. A lot of other people go through a lot of hard, harder things, right? Um, though with my depression, you know, I've gone through it for so long now that when I do get depressed, I know what to do to help myself get out of it quickly and to deal with it properly. And it's taken a lot of years to get to that point where when it does hit me, i am be like, okay. And then I get up and I do the things I have to do. So, and that becomes easier. So what I'm saying is make sure you do the work and you put in the effort. Medication is awesome as a tool. Medication makes us feel better. Medication can help us through other things. The only issue is, is when we think of that we're cured and we think we're done for it. Because like, oh, cool, on meds, I feel a lot better and that's it. I'm just going to take meds for the rest of my life. What happens when the meds go out? You can't get them anymore. <laughs> meds go out, you can't get them anymore. What happens? What do you have? You have no training got nothing you relied on nothing so you're screwed what happens if um you get used to the medication and now you got to change something up you're gonna keep taking meds all right you've got nothing so make sure that you use your meds as a tool to get better oh my meds help me become better awesome go and practice these techniques go and learn them get help always get help she has dylan right in the game she's dylan's helping her go seek a therapist don't do it alone 
Many have failed. Just don't worry about it. Go. Even if you go to a therapist and they tell you you're doing everything right, awesome. You've got at least some backup in your head that, hey, I'm doing the right thing. Go practice, build those pathways, and eventually it becomes easier. It does come e become a bit easier. But you're still going to go through things. But now you'll have the tools and the knowledge and the experience to back you up. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials. And she saw a way out. To leave her past behind. And become a warrior. In Dillian's clan. The soul is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later, with Zimbal's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back. My father was not supposed to die like this. Hold my heavy strike. I don't want to die. Not today, homie. Take a screenshot. I don't know. I don't know if there is any escape. Do you hear the suffering, Senor? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Feel the blood running cold on your skin. Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you bowed for your curse instead of cursing it. When you turn your back on your father, Zimbo, you turn your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Only oh, leave me alone. Tomorrow. I am concentrating so hard. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. 
Focus, focus, focus. I will die tomorrow. Oh man, the voice is saved by him, but woo hoo hoo! We're like behind you. I used to have a sword back, I'll tell you that. I got there's a charge. Going on this episode. She calls for you, Senoa. Go to her. Answer her pitiful call. Can't hear her. I don't know where she is. Mother, I need you. Escape. This horror. It's not too late. Three. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? I don't know if this was. I can't, can't dodge it, can't dodge it. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We'll focus on one. He can. I'm so focused right now and I'm hating it. Wait, you can block? Where did block happen? I didn't know you could block. I'm scared. I'm on death's door. Die. <laughs> Before they come. It's nearly over. I hope so. Please tell me that's it. That's not it. I can't believe I could block. 
It's pretty bad. I'm not just scared, I'm dying. Dying as we speak. But am I supposed to die here? Please stop it. I think I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Focus. Father, sorry, I'm super. Oh, I'm done. I'm done for. Nope, there's no way. There's no way. There's no, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, my God. I found out you can block in this game, but it was way too late by the time I did. So we're going to practice blocking for a bit. Because I don't actually know where I am in this part and how far it reset me. You keep parrying! <laughs> Come at me, bro! <laughs> You're screwed now! <laughs> Oh, we're done. We're done for me. Give the darkness what it wants. Let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Can we parry big things? Yes, we can! <laughs> come on, come at me. You're good. We'll parry this. Check this out. Oh, we did not parry that. To his father. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess this guy, we're just going to have to. Nah, we'll parry. We'll practice parrying. We can block it, we can parry it. I can't believe it. I figured that out now. Let's go. I feel fresh. I feel ready to go. Am I going the wrong way? I was going the wrong way. I'm sorry. Man. 
Yeah, I just figured that you could parry. We're not gonna die for a while. This episode has gone for very long, I'm sorry. about that that night she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her So many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said I had blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal is right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poisoned, and his words still haunt you. Who do you trust, him or me? Do you still believe in me, Zemo? In us? gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. But she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. We're gonna call it there because it's super long. <laughs> um, peace and love, everyone. God bless.